Hey Easterlingers, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. So I'm moving on with the Necromancers. This is Mortimer, who is Zenithal highlighted, and I got a lot of slack for the last one because supposedly my my prime job is horrible. Crusader skin for the face, pallid bone for the hair, pallid bone for uh, his satchel, pallid bone for uh, this belt on the front, as well as these little eyes that are on his jacket. Yeah, so coming back to the whole slack about my primer, yeah, I think there was something wrong with my spray can of white. I thought I did a good job, but then when I did the contrast paints on the last Necromancer, it just found it looked awful, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, in the end, though, with the speed paints, you'll want to see till the end, I find this model turns out looking so much better. Holy white now for that scarf. Uh, a little bit of sand golem now, we're going to be doing the sheaths of the swords. Uh, we're going to be doing the staff as well, some other belts here and there, or I don't know if it's a staff, it's like a stick with a spike through it, or like a nail through it, I don't even know what you want to call it, is it a staff? Would you call that a staff? I don't know, or a stick? Uh, so anyways, a sand golem for those as well, for that color. Uh, again, as you can see, the Zenithal Priming is working okay with the speed paint, so I don't see me having any problems there. The Grim Black is up next, I don't even find you see any of the graininess after, um... So someone told me my, my white spray can might have been too cold, not shooken enough. Uh, I have no idea what I did wrong. But, you know, sometimes I try it. And I've never liked Zenithal highlighting. I actually like more the dry brushing technique. Uh, slaughter red now for the little rim around the hat there. Some dark wood now for all of the coat. And you're going to see how this coat turns out amazing. It looks just like a real duster jacket. I find that this uh, this dark brown just turns out amazing on this miniature with a zenithal highlight, I, turn, I think it turns out perfect. Um, like I said again, I'm not a big fan of zenithal highlighting. Uh, the next Necromancer, I'm gonna be doing some zenithal highlighting again, uh, but it's gonna have a mixture of speed paints and war paints just to see uh, if war paints, if you dilute them a bit uh, or whatever and you don't put them too thick, how that turns out as well on the miniature. Don't forget his hat. We can't forget his hat with that dark brown. Very important. <laughs> this necromancer loves his hat, I guess. Filthy cape now. So this is just a war paint. We're just going to be doing some of the undershirt there and some of the under garments or whatever that is just like I think it's an undershirt or whatever just little spots here we're gonna be doing also uh, the sleeves of the shirt and the uh, pants as well now if I look at his right arm and when I saw it drying after it almost looked like more like muscle so that might be skin instead of uh, clothing I'm not 100% sure some shining silver now just to do all the buckles to do uh, some of the hilts on the sword. I'm going to do another color for the other swords. I just wanted to change it up a little bit. I also did a blade of his main scimitar there. It looks like a scimitar. Or no, what do you call that? A, um, a rapier? I think that's what it is. And that nail. Uh, greedy gold now for the hilt of the rapier and the other sword or the dagger or whatever he had in his arm, in his, uh, in his weapon there. Pure red. Now we're going to be doing all these little eyes. Okay, this is going to be fun. Ice storm. His neck's like a blue, and then scaly hide has got a little bit of green. So he's got blue, red, and green eyes, and a little dab of black just in the center to make it really look like eyeballs. And then to top that off, once it's really well dry, gloss varnish. And they're gonna make those eyes pop and make them look shiny and make them look like eyeballs for real. And there you have it, folks. Mortimer is painted ready for a table, and look how much better he turns out there is still some of the graininess, but not as much as that contrast paint. I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you all in the next one.